Good morning, Virgo. So this is Friday, August 6th, right? And to jump right into this reading, I initially was thinking Virgo singles, but I get the feeling that this involves Virgos in relationships as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with what's in your thoughts. In your thoughts, we have Six of Cups, Seven of Coins, Seven of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Okay, so this spread is telling me about choices and decisions that you guys need to make, things that are riding your mind for the most part. So with this Six of Cups, you're thinking about childish behavior, childish actions, For some of you, this decision or these choices you have to make, you've been thinking about this for too long now. You've been thinking about this for too long. So even if you are in a relationship, some of you, it might be a little too stagnant or a little too comfortable. For some of you, you're in the relationship, but you're realizing you'd be better off by yourself or you might need a time out. Okay, for the singles, for the singles, I think some of you are becoming not scarred, but you know, you're getting your taste of battle wounds. You've had your taste of being hurt. You're you're starting to like go through certain things now that you don't like. They don't look too good, this don't taste good, this don't feel good. Things of that nature, right? Now, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Coins, King of Coins, and the Nine of Cups. This is you basically keeping your feelings and your emotions to yourself because, yes, you are good right nine of pentacles nine of coins she's good all by herself you might be with a stable partner for those of you in a relationship you might be in a stable relationship but at the end of the day you're kind of like feeling you would be happy by yourself good by yourself you know how to fill your cups for the singles Okay, for the singles, on one hand, you wouldn't mind being in a relationship, but on the other hand, you are good by yourself. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, you're good by yourself. So having learned what you've learned, experienced what you've experienced thus so far, you're going to keep your love a little bit to yourself. You're going to be selfish with it. And I want you to remember that. There's a reason why I want you to remember that. Remember that feeling because I think for some of you, this is the path you're kind of leaning towards because you have a choice to make. So you can either stay single a little while longer. Offers are definitely coming in. They look good. They feel good. But... Your intuition is telling you it's not what it's cracked up to be or it's not for you right now. So I want you to remember that because at the end of the day, what went down with you guys and someone else? Five of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. So you might have had a little trickster in the mix. Someone tried to pull the wool over your eyes. You know, the whole betrayal situation for the most part for those of you in a relationship it could have been things where someone was trying to confuse you with their words gaslighting you know so you might have a partner that is more out for themselves that's that five of swords energy that's a person that puts themselves first they have to win by any means necessary win at any cost so they might come in with just this you know, little Knight of Cups offer, they might be, you know, they're not a king. They're not like the King of Cups. They're not the Emperor. They're not at that level, Ace of Cups. So they're still just a Knight. And it might feel a little bit mediocre to you. 
you know what might be confusing you is this ace of wands because yeah when you guys hit the sheets it might feel passionate enough you know for you to think well you know kind of comfortable or you know it's, it's all right so but the thing with that is now right because we're just going to wrap this reading up real quick hermit card the fool card the devil two of cups the two of cups is supposed to be a happy thing soulmates happiness two people coming together ten of cups that's like the happy family stability all of that good stuff oh my bad not ten of cups ten of coins ten of pentacles but the ten of pentacles is very similar to ten of cups because it's stability you know so the thing is you guys might be viewing your situation if you are partnered up as stable but i want to tell you to re-examine what you think is stability because it might not be you've got seven of cups over there that's usually confusion too many options not seeing what's in front of you even with the seven of cups here you you might have a partner that's running around and they're telling you one thing ten of swords but their words are deceiving you their words are betraying you because they're out there spreading it and you can't see that or maybe you don't want to see that you know that's for those of you that are partnered up for the singles there's a heavy heavy message here in the bottom row I want you to examine this this is a brand new deck and you're the second people I'm reading for with it hermit card you guys are showing up in your own reading as validation okay it's asking you for those of you who really do need to make that choice it's asking you to take a little bit more time to yourself be by yourself go within you know look into this light see what it means for you try to find that light within yourself examine yourself and see where that light aka your intuition is going to lead you because you do not want to make any sudden moves this is the fool card next to the devil i don't like this for the simple fact that there for the simple fact that if you do not stay in your hermit energy and you take a chance on someone that's, you know, in your ear telling you whatever it is they're telling you, someone that's trying to entice you, you're going to end up with issues, okay? With the devil card next to the soulmate card, two of cups, the ten of pentacles, this is not real. This is what this person wants to tell you. These are the feelings they want to incite and invoke to get whatever it is they want to get. So I'm pulling under the devil card. I pulled two more cards because I didn't like the devil card. Page of cups. Okay, I don't play with anything that's a page. That's still childish. That's still young. It doesn't mean it's going to lead to anything solid. They're just testing the waters, whatever. But the thing is, the devil card, number one, he's asking you to see the truth of the matter. There is no two of cups, no ten of swords. There's the page of cups, not the two of cups. There's the page of cups. And then on top of that, there's the magician. So that's basically the trick that he's trying to pull. The magician, he wants you to see two of cups, ten of pentacles. Even if you are booed up, this person, that's what they would like for you to see. But it's not there. And the devil is revealing the truth in that. The devil is also about choices. So now you have a choice. You can choose to remain in your hermit energy. You can choose to remain in your nine of pentacles, nine of cups energy, right? You can choose to remain that way because it's working for you. It's not the end all be all. You, you know, there's opportunities that are, gonna, that are going to come right around the corner, but it's how you handle this opportunity first, right? So you can choose to give yourself that time and stay in your hermit energy, or you can choose to be the fool, right? Go dance with the devil again, because it's easy to show you his magic stick, his disappearing tricks, and look, ooh, I poked the rabbit out the hat, but look what's under that table, another devil. I love it, next to the angel. I don't know what kind of angel that is, but 
you know, good luck to that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here, guys, and that's pretty much it. This is your food for thought. So just think before you act. Think before you leap. Another underlying message here is the high priestess. That's the lady that sits on all the knowledge, all the inner knowing and everything else. So tap into your high priestess mode and make informed decisions for yourself. Have a good night, guys.